And I'm going to share something with you that is going to help solidify the fact that we are closer to the Sunday law than many have realized. We've already studied that Medo-Persia is a type of America. Medo-Persia, religious, religious law, glorious uh, kingdom, uh, two-horned beast, just like America's a two-horned beast, and that Medo-Persia followed literal Babylon in chronology and America follows spiritual Babylon. Those four similarities prove Medo-Persia is a type for America. With Medo-Persia, you had two Jews who were in government, who were in connection with the king or president of Medo-Persia. You had Nehemiah and you also had Esther. Nehemiah and you also had Esther. That's, that's the two that we see. Um, of course, you had Daniel as well. But I wanted to bring out the point of if, if that was the reality in Medo-Persia's day, then that must also be a reality in our day concerning America. And God has given two in connection with government. You have uh, Barry Black and you had Ben Carson. These were Seventh-day Adventists in connection with the president or the government in close quarters with the highest ranking official Obviously, that would be the president. So when we see that we had Barry Black and Ben Carson, two men, two Seventh-day Adventists that were in connection with the president or the White House, what God is showing you that the Sunday law is about to pass. Just as in the days of Nehemiah, the walls were broken down. Likewise, the walls are going to be broken down to a, even a greater degree. And we are going to see the need for the last day Daniel, who is Elijah, to come to the forefront as God sees fit. Why is this so important? Probation is about to close. We need to make sure that our lives are right with Christ. We need to be taking time for, for self-examination. We need to understand that the Sunday law I expect it to be passed very, very soon. Will you be used in the loud cry? Are you totally surrendered to Jesus? Am I totally surrendered to Jesus? These are the questions that we ought to be asking. Am I in line with God's perfect will for my life? These are the questions we have to be asking now, brothers and sisters. Time is almost up. Will you be sealed? is the question, will I be sealed? My prayer is that our lives will be in line with God's will and his word so that God can seal us before probation closes.